The following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to maintenance the 6 through 8 inch Derringer 30 micro bypass assembly. These are the tools required. Close the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two shutoff valve. Open test cock number four. Open bypass test cock number two. Open test cock number three. Open bypass test cock number one. Open test cock number two. Do not open test cock number one. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the couplings on both sides of the meter. Remove the bypass meter. Examine the meter coupling gaskets for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the meter and retighten the couplings with an adjustable wrench. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the check valve cover. Remove the spring from the valve body. Remove the check poppet from the valve body. Remove the seat assembly from the valve body. Examine the check cover o-ring for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Examine the spring for damage. Examine the check seat for damage and debris. Examine the check seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. If debris is found on the check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. Debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the check disc retaining screw. Remove the check disc retaining washer. Remove the check disc. Use a flathead screwdriver if necessary. Install new check disc, making sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the check disc retaining washer. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to retighten the check disc retaining screw. Reinsert the check seat assembly into the valve body. Reinsert the check poppet into the valve body. Reinsert the spring into the valve body. Reinstall the check cover onto the valve body. Use an adjustable wrench to retighten the check cover. Slightly open the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two test cock. Close bypass test cock number one. Close the number three test cock. Close bypass test cock number two. Close the number four test cock. Fully open the number one shutoff valve. Perform a backflow test according to your local regulations to ensure the check valves have been repaired properly. Fully open the number two shutoff valve. 